Sliding into the series presented by Small Sliders. We sweat the small stuff so you don't have to. All right, let's go ahead and preview LSU's weekend. Of course, they're heading over to Houston to play in Minute Maid Park. They've got Texas on Friday night, the Baylor Bears on Saturday, and the Oklahoma Sooners, who I believe are number 15 in the country. So the only ranked opponent the Tigers will be facing, that is on Sunday. But Texas is a good baseball team that's got off to a hot start, huh? Yeah, they're undefeated. Uh, went to a bad Rice team and swept them. Did uh, you ever think that you'd say that growing up? I know well, you're a little bit younger than me, but Rice, like when I was growing up. Yeah, I mean, th- this is not your 2003 you know, Rice squad. Uh, they're just not what they used to be. Uh, there's potential there. Obviously, Wayne Graham's so good for so long. Um, but, you know, Texas is, is pretty good, and you're very likely to see Bryce Elder on Friday night. That'll be a Bryce Elder-Cole Henry match. Elder's a junior, big right-hander. Oh, you saw him in game one last year. He pitched into the seventh inning, allowed no earned runs, one unearned. He struck out seven, walked three guys, uh, got the win in that game. So a guy that LSU has seen before, but is really good. And Henry, uh, who kind of was had his coming out party against Texas in relief yeah. down in Austin, will have a chance to kind of rekindle that. And Texas has some bats, uh, and they love to run. They run, run, run. And so I, Well, go yeah. ahead this year, huh, yeah. Palmer? So we'll see what Malazzo's <laughs> got back there um, because you know, Texas is – Duke Ellis is – their leading hitter right now. He's our leadoff guy. Uh, he hits left-handed. He's got he's five for five on steals. He's hitting three fifty. He's really good. Not um, w- just in a crazy statistical anomaly. Texas has uh, has a total of seven home runs this year by seven different guys. Yeah. All, seven guys have one homer. So not one guy that you see and you're like, holy cow, you know that guy's gonna kill us. They've got one guy in Zach Zubia who's got thirteen RBI, which is really impressive at this point of the year. But he's only hitting two fifty. Um, so. It's a good Texas team and a really solid pitcher that you're going to see on Friday night. So that environment, I can't wait to get to. You're talking about 20,000-plus, probably filling that lower bowl at Minute Maid, a lot of burnt orange, a lot of purple and gold, and two top-notch you know, pitchers who will be drafted after this yeah. year. Uh, three Marucci teams over in Houston, by the way. Shout out to uh, my boys. There you go. Yeah, Shameless but, plug. And the Baylor Bears are one of those teams. Probably the weakest team LSU will face over the weekend. Like I mentioned, Oklahoma is ranked 15th in the country. They're 7-2 overall on the early season. Baylor 4-3, and three, I believe. What do you expect from that game? So, Baylor is 5-3. and three. They're the worst record-wise. But I was talking to Kendall Rogers earlier this week. They've got uh, an All-American shortstop um, and, you know, some talent. You look at the numbers, which, look, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I know a ton about Big 12 baseball. I don't, I don't spend much time on the weekend watching Big 12 baseball. But you can look at the numbers, and, uh, and Baylor has um, been okay. They got a kid hitting 485 through eight games, which is really impressive. Jared McKenzie, that's a shortstop. So that's a guy to look for. The interesting thing is that Kendall mentioned to me that Oklahoma's, the real like strength of their team is their one-two punch right. on the rotation – we play them on Sunday. So you know, maybe they hold one of those guys and don't throw them against Missouri because they think that LSU is a better team. Maybe they don't, and they just keep everybody in the same order. I don't know. But uh, but you look at the three guys who you expect to start, you know, and the numbers are really good. They've all got more strikeouts than, than innings pitched. And really the guy with the worst ERA, Dan Acker, is, has you know 14 strikeouts in 12 innings and an opponent batting average of 171. So – it looks like Oklahoma can play uh, for sure, and that'll be the morning game on Sunday. The Sooners are seven and two on the year. Um, nobody with numbers that are just totally out of control. But I think the biggest thing for me is is the Texas game because of the way that they run and the really good pitcher they've got. Baylor's got a really good bat in the middle of the lineup, and for for Oklahoma, it looks like they pitch it pretty well. We're sliding into the series brought to you by Small Sliders. Of course, you can check out Smalls at four three four three Nicholson Drive, right across. From Tigerland, there, simple, fun, delicious. Um, I want to see the stage. I want to see who yeah. stands tall on this stage. And we all know Minute Maid Park's a big league ballpark. We've talked about that really for about two weeks now. And we realize, you know, how important this tournament is. And, and LSU's played in it before. They've had some success. They've, you know, had some bad times in this tournament as well. I do think, and we've talked about Maurice Hampton, you know, one, he's played way more than I think any of us thought before the season, just listening to Paul Maneri talk. And, but he is, he's figuring some things out, and I don't want to crown the guy. I understand that. But one guy you know that has been on a stage is Maurice Hampton Jr. So I was thinking about this the other day, and you're better to answer this than me. I can't remember. 
what game did he start? It was a home game, and Arkansas. they ran and they ran something off the left side, and he stepped up and really made a stick. Was that the Arkansas game? Yeah. Okay, because that was that was a kind of to me a lot of times on defense or on like the offensive line, I don't notice guys all that often on unless they make the play, and, and I, I like I noticed Hampton on that play, you know, come up and not be afraid of you know. I, I was just talking about it in the last segment with James Bishop. Once you get out there for the first time, do you kind of not try to screw up or do you go play the game? And you can tell that Hampton went out there and, all right, let's go. I'm, I'm here to make some plays. And so hopefully the, the same uh, – this will be the best pitching he's ever seen. Uh, without a doubt. I mean, and I, and it, there's going to be – there's probably going to be some growing pains. But as far as the stage, I think that's very important for this LSU baseball team because you have so many young players and even, even guys who have been here that they haven't been on – this stage in a big league ballpark against a team like a Texas and, and Baylor and Oklahoma don't have the history that Texas does, but it's still a big 12 power five team. That's got some baseball history. I, I'm very intrigued by the fact that I want to see LSU starting staff go against other Friday, Saturday, Sunday starters that you think could potentially play professional baseball and how they stand tall and how they raise their level of play. You mentioned you know, Cole Henry last year, well, he raised his level of play in that matchup. Not that he has to raise his by any means, but I want to see him duel a guy that's kind of on the same level as him. Yeah, and Elders, I think, maybe a little bit more proven than having had you know, a season under his belt. And so I would, it would really go a long way for me this year. I, I, I won't absolutely hammer the panic button if LSU goes out and has trouble scoring on Friday and has trouble scoring on Saturday, and maybe even depending on who pitches, has trouble scoring on Sunday. That would kind of be expected to me for to a degree by me if they didn't if they averaged you know three runs a game. I just it wouldn't hammer the panic button. It would really disappoint me if LSU went over there and the three starters none of them got out of the fifth inning and you know they got hit around and yep. that because that's got to be your strength and this is their first chance to show that that this is going to be the strength of the team and to make a statement against some better teams. They need to do that. Now, that point being made, LSU went over there a couple of years ago and, you know, TCU hit, hit just crushed yep. it off Lang, and LSU went over there and lost two out of three. Poche was good in the middle game, but you lost to Texas Tech on Sunday, and, you know, you uh, you lost two out of three with the team you thought was really, really, really yeah. good. So it's not to say that you go over there and lose and you, you, you absolutely just panic, but it would concern me if LSU went over there and couldn't pitch it. What is the one thing that you want to see grow? Not something you already know is a proven commodity, but something that you want to see grow and be better after the weekend before they head to Houston. You didn't really know about it, then afterwards you feel good about it. Defense. With Cranford at short, you got speed yep. at left. And, now, speed at left in this ballpark doesn't really matter all that much, but speed in left and center, center it matters a ton. Giacomo's got to run some stuff down and make some plays. But if the infield defense is good, Milazzo continues to be his fantastic self over there, and they play clean baseball, that would be an improvement from what I thought was pretty weak the first two weekends. All right, that is sliding into the series, brought to you by Small Sliders. Again, right there on Nicholson. And it's perfect for LSU baseball games. Go get 25 sliders, 50 sliders, 100 sliders. Right before you go over to the box, you can use it for tailgating. You can stop by before the game if it's just you, right? You just want that single combo. Or if you've got a group, obviously they can take care of any of your needs. Sliders, fries, queso, handmade milkshakes, they got it all over there at Smalls Sliders.